This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nita. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong and we were not president. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought the phenomenal fight card and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now if the Knicks can just get their act together. Knicks will never get their act together, and I'm okay with it. Nice jab there. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Oh, how good was that? Oh, he is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Another huge kick is true. And now another being thrown on both sides. Straight punch, that is useful. Those are big strikes. Nice, cool crush. Oh, great block there. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are brawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Oh, big right hand. Oh, punches and punches. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side. 
I told you. If you need a point, you have got to get out of here. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, nice over. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Beautiful. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Beautiful kick lands there. Nice block. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land a lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Nice loop and punch. Oh! Beautiful power. Straight right is there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body. Start, start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Whiffs on that offering. All right, we need that takedown now. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Connects with a beautiful jab. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Clean punch. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Uh, round huh. two coming up next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head. And he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defense. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Oh, oh my goodness! He went high on that one. Big right hand there! Big uppercut! Oh! Unable to connect. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. 
Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Landed a solid punch there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that club. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Just misses with the straight right. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Oh, big head kick there. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Turning his hip over into the leg kick. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. We expect counters as we go forward. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Big right hook there by the champ. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some... Oh, big knees! Jab is on point right now. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing. Oh. Big right hand there. Hurt him again. It's been a crazy fight. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, he just continued. Oh. So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Do you believe it? The 
this next round is underway. The previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, so the cut really started to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. He checked that last one. Continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. All right, now touches him with that left hand. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from it? Oh! We've passed the midpoint here of the fight. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell the He can't even stand. Oh, huge kick to the leg. off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Oh, staying busy fighting off of his back and he lands. Right there. Right there. Oh, right into mount. This is where he wants to be. 90 seconds to go. All right, so it has been punches and Fight strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture or something. Well, it seems like, oh, now he's attacking the arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, wow, oh! Yeah, Paige and Alexio let it. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips. Facing. And getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Nice. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you, but that cut just continues to get targeted by well, his opponent. Well, he's a bloody mess, J.A. He's been beat up. The guy has been targeting the eye, and now the cut is at a stage that I don't know if he's going to be able to be in there much longer. Oh, Superman! Ten seconds to go in the round.
Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.